This video is sponsored by DistroKid. This is the Flammer FV01 Corrector. It's actually for vocal correction and a vocal pedal that has a couple of tricks up its sleeve for both vocal and actually guitar. Now this is part of the FV range that Flammer have and they sent this for review. They haven't seen this video beforehand, no money has exchanged hands. They've just sent me the paddle and they just want my opinion. So I've got it plugged in right now. So we're actually on XLR in and out. And then we've got things like line in, 48 volt phantom power. We've got a lift and a ground and a gain amount for the actual pedal there. But also like the other FV range, it's also got a guitar in and a guitar out. So you can plug your guitar in and there's a couple of tricks for the guitar as well. Now, as you can see on the pedal, we've got delay, reverb and correction. And we've also got tone and we have a single button which can do multiple things. Right now, everything is off. So what you're hearing right now is just this microphone. Hello, hello, hello. And we're going straight in and straight out. The way the three dials are actually split up is quite clever. We've got delay, so we've got TP, which is a warm tape delay. We've got DG, which is a digital delay. And then we've got SL, which is a classic slap delay. So when you turn this on and then start turning this around, it'll get to the edge and then it'll flick over to the next one from tape delay to digital delay. With the reverbs, we've got three reverbs as well. We've got RM for room reverb. That's also got a low decay. We have HL and the manual actually says huge hall reverb. And then we've got PL for plate classic plate reverb. Now this is called the corrector. So we've got correction here and this is vocal correction, but we'll get into that in a minute. The first thing I wanna show you is actually that this has a couple of different modes. If I just press this straight away, you can actually hear that the tone kicked in. So one, two, 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 one, two. If I give this a double tap, you just heard it kicked off there. So it actually just turned off. So everything is off when this is not showing a light. If you give this a press, you can see it's flashing. Now that flash is actually important because that flash is the BPM, the tempo. I'm gonna show you how you can change that later. Now the other option is if I just press it once, it goes from a green into a red mode. Now if it's in red mode, we can play around with the delay and the reverb, but the corrector doesn't kick in. This is really handy because what you can do is you can set your reverb and your delay and you're playing along, you're playing your song, and then you can just press once and then we go into the correction. So the correction turns on and off. It's almost like a hit mode or an on mode, like on the TC Helicons or on the Boss pedals, where you can actually just set this the way you want and then that turns on and turns off independently. So let's go back over to our red mode to begin with. So let's have a listen to some of these, starting with the delay. As we start turning this up. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And we go over to the digital delay. Hello, 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 hello. And then we go over to our slap delay. Two, 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 two. So you'll notice there, as, as we, we move, move across over, it's going to sound a bit weird yeah. as I do this, but you can change it over. And if you notice, the actual delay is in sync with the lights. Two, three, four. Then we've got the reverb. So we've got the room reverb. One, two, one, two. Hello, hello, hello. Two, two, two. And we move over to the hall reverb. One, two. Ha, 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 ha. And then we move over to our plate. La. So there's quite a lot here. And then there's what's known as a hidden mode. So the hidden mode, actually, you hold this down and this will actually go yellow. So this is actually a yellow color. Again, it's tap tempo. So we can actually go one, two. Uh, 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 see the way it's changed? Way it's changed. One, two. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. One, one, two. two. La. So now the button. Now the button. Now the button. Let me just turn that down. So now the button is actually the tap tempo when it's in yellow mode for the delay and how much you want. What we can also do as well is while we're in the yellow mode, we can play around with two other things. The first thing is the corrector actually becomes the amount of feedback for the delay. So let me show you this. One, this. two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. We just get a single delay there. Single delay there. Whereas if I turn this all the way up. 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 Whoa. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. That also affects it as well, and that works across the board with the whole delay system. So if I go to the digital delay, digital delay, two, 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 all the way up, all the way up, two, 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 
two, two, two. Now in the hidden mode for the reverb, what we're gonna be doing is actually affecting the reverb of the guitar. Because we've got a guitar in a guitar out, you can actually set the reverb and you can hear as I move it around, it's not changing the vocal at all. It actually changes for the reverb of the guitar. So you could set your guitar in a room or a hall or a plate, which I think is really cool. I'm gonna leave the tap tempo like that for now. And to get out of the hidden mode, we just hold down and we go back over to the previous whatever you were in, so we're in the green or the red, whichever it was, but right now we're in the red one. So I'm gonna set, so this, I'm gonna up. set this up. La, 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 la. There we go. Now maybe I don't want to delay. You just need a bit of hall. And to stop all of this, we double tap. And now everything's off, including the tone, remember. So that's everything. Now, before we get into the corrector itself, I just want to have a talk about today's sponsor. If you are making songs and you're thinking of putting them out there in the world, then today's sponsor can help you, which is DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution company. So if you're making songs and you want to put them onto streaming sites or digital platforms, then what you need in the middle is a music distribution company. And this is where DistroKid can help you. I've been using DistroKid for years. Now, DistroKid do sponsor this channel, but I do release all my music through them, mainly because I believe that they are the easiest platform to release music through as an independent artist. And they have loads of different perks to help you release that music to get the best out of it. Now, most music distributors charge you per release, but DistroKid don't do this. They charge you an annual subscription. And DistroKid now even have an app that you can upload your music directly from your phone, your iPad, and now also Android. The Android app has been a little bit delayed, but it's now out in 2024. But it doesn't stop there. As soon as you upload your music, you get what's called a hyper follow page. So here's my track stray all I need to do is click at the top here and then what I can do is I can go visit hyperfollow and then as soon as this loads this is actually a page you can give to your fans and then they choose how they listen to your music. You can set up the hyperfollow page and choose which ones are actually shown, where there's a YouTube video and you can put it on top, which I've done with one or two of mine. And there's loads of other things like promo cards. And the other thing as well is that your music can, if you choose to, go onto things like social media. So you can put it onto things like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and then people can choose your music as the background to their video, but so can you. You can use that as the promo to your own single, which is really, really clever, and you get paid. Now, DistroKid don't take any of the money from the royalties whatsoever because you're paying them a subscription, and that subscription starts at $22.99. But with the link that's on the screen, it's also in the description box below, you get 7% off your first annual membership with them. Now, I'm actually on the second tier up. I'm on the one called Musicians Plus which gives me two artists as me as John Paul and me and my friend Greg as Tokyo Wasteland but also I get to schedule the date of the release and you can even schedule the pricing for places like iTunes and things like that so thank you very much to District Kid for sponsoring this video have a look at the link and then what we'll do is let's get into this now the last part of course is the main event which is actually the corrector so this is actually here this is the correction so you go from zero to a hundred percent correction so zero of course is nothing and a hundred percent is pure sheer t-pain style so let me show you this now now in order for this to work i'm going to turn these two off and it's got to be in the green mode so i'm going to actually go and just sing a sweep i'm going to go Ooh. That's my normal voice, okay? And that's at zero. Let's put it to 50. Ooh. Let's put it at 100. Ooh. If I just press a single price, oh. Oh. Then of course, if you're in red, it means no correction, but you still got your reverb and your delay, no problem. This is really cool because there's multiple uses for these different things. And what you can do is maybe set it the way you want before you go to a gig and you've got it all set up with the right hall you want, the right delay you want, and then you just switch on the vocal corrector and you can probably hear it now. It's obviously not really meant for talking, but if I go, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, La 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 wow wow I can't help doing that I'm sorry <laughs> la wow 
Yeah. Obviously, the 100% is extreme, and it's designed that way. So, you know, maybe 30 40%. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, la. La, 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 la. So, of course, it depends on what style you are doing. If you want a full-blown delay, reverb, and correction, and a full pop song, you could do that. La, 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 la. La 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 Whoa. La 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 Bum 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 dun 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 bum 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 the nice little thing as well is I'm actually using this microphone and I'm using with 48 volts phantom power. There's a nice little switch there to switch 48 volts on. As you can see, it's up at the moment. The other option you've got there is you've got an option for line in. When line in is on, the FV01 can be used as a microphone amplifier for the microphone for the mic in. Alternatively, it can be used as a traditional stomp box. The other thing as well is there is a different output mode. So right now, out of the box, you plug your guitar into here, the guitar's gonna come out of here, plug your microphone into here, your microphone's gonna come out of here. However, if you turn this off, hold down the foot switch and plug it back in again, it changes modes. So the LED will actually blink at either blue or red, depending on which mode it's in. So the current mode is separate. So what that means is obviously the guitar comes out separately and the mic comes out separately. That's what most people want. However, if you put it into red mode, which is mixed mode, mixed mode means the signals from the guitar and the microphone are mixed together and they will actually come out of both the XLR and the quarter inch jack guitar out no matter which one you use. I think most people would actually leave it in the normal mode where actually everything's separated because then you can mix it or send the guitar to an amp while you send the microphone to a mixing desk. Now I'd like to thank Flammer for sending this out to me. I think it's a great little paddle. However, I do have one caveat with it. They've tried to squeeze everything into the three dials, including the hidden mode for the guitar and this doubling up as a tap tempo only when it's in hidden mode. What I'd really like to see is an upgraded version of this where you don't have three dials, you actually have have six. So we have delay, reverb, and correction for the vocals, and we have another three for delay, reverb, and correction for the guitar. Then what I'd also like to see is two pedals, one for the turning on of the correction, that's all fine, but the other one be a dedicated tap tempo. Either this or a second connection, so we can plug in something like an external add-on pedal so we can then control things independently. I think it's quite difficult to then have to go into secret mode to change the tempo of the delay for every single song. But the quality of the sound is fab. There's loads of great sounds in there. The tone I really like as well, being able to play around with it. Now I've left links under the description box where you can go and pick one of these up. Now the other thing the FV range can do is they can work together. So there's an entire range and we've done a couple of reviews for the other FV pedals. So have a look at this video right here if you want to have a look at the harmony pedal. So you could plug the corrector into the harmony and make sure that's absolutely right. And then have a look at this video if you are a singer songwriter on the go because this is the recording Order. And if you think about how you make your songs and you want a portable sketchbook to actually get your stuff down, this is the pedal for you.